welcome to Steel's Farm. We're going to do something a little different today. I posted a whole bunch of pictures of my model cars that uh, I've built in the past. And they've been boxed up for all oh, a year, maybe a year and a half. And not been on display, not nothing. I mean, and they, they are still pretty dirty. I, I, I just got them out of the, the box and uh, uncovered them. And I was checking them out, and I posted quite a few pictures to Facebook and Instagram. But uh, I just really wanted to show you kind of up close and, and talk about them a little bit. But there's still a few things that I, I would like to show you uh, that are real special about a couple of these. This is a 36 Ford convertible. Uh, you can build this kit as a convertible or a hardtop. It's made by Revell. Uh, I think I still have the original box, actually, um, when it was in storage for a year almost two years it was put back in its original box and paper towels and it's very very dirty this car was built for a little model car show that they were having in Popper Bluff Missouri and a guy that owns a hobby shop up there or did he sold you the model kit and then I think I really think in about two months it was the the show, so I think I think I had right two months to build this car, but you had to buy a model kit from him, and then display it at that show, and you and you you couldn't bring any other car, so you know whatever was there. There's, it's a pretty common kit. I've seen several at Hobby Lobby and all that. Well, there was a few things that I could get off the internet to make it really special. If you go back over here to the front, a photo etched custom grill was installed that really set off the front. If it wasn't for that, a lot of this car would not be as special. But that photo etched grill, man, that really pulls it off. And in person, not from a fisheye lens GoPro, you can see the electric fans behind it. There, there's quite a bit of detail in this little model, e even though it was one of my very first uh, full-on custom models. Custom door handles were installed on the sides. And then, as soon as you step inside the car, which is pretty hard to see with a GoPro, but a custom billet steering wheel was installed. And then, photo etched custom gauge cluster with printed off gauge needles behind it were on, put on the dash to really set the interior off. Nowadays, if I built this, I would probably put steering wheel uh, with, with an actual rubber ring around it and actual seat belts, cloth seat the paint is a custom mixed airbrush base clear. It was actually a waterborne paint from Eastwood. I got a uh, whole big kit of an airbrush gun and water base, uh, well actually waterborne brush paint much anymore. I went back to all the urethane stuff. Waterborne is easy to clean the airbrush gun but it is very easy to run and it's just not used as much anymore. This little car is one of the ones I would like to actually read, not redo, because it was never finished, but I would, I would actually like to finish. Uh, that is a Jimmy Flintstone body. It is sitting on a custom tubed frame, front to back. Uh, I believe it's a 27 or a 28 model Ford model kit that was used to put the body on. Uh, the front stub is the only thing, it's actually from the original kit and then the actual drive line. The rear axle housing, which is a uh, banjo rear end, was used, and then the, the front I-beam, is, which is actually chrome I-beam. Those were used from the kit, but the, the car actually has a 5.3 out of the 99 model Chevrolet extended cab model kit sitting inside the frame rails, and then that is a 32 Ford grill shell, with a photo etched 32 Ford grill, which those photo etched grills really make a model car look realistic. I would like to finish this one, uh, no time soon, but I would I would definitely like to build this car. This is actually going to be uh, modeled after a real car that I've seen in, in life. Uh, it's been in a rod and custom magazine and such. It will be painted orange, I believe. This is a 32 Ford sedan. It was a hardtop car. 
I chopped it down into a roadster. Does not have a top, so it is permanent roadster. This was my first full on custom, what I call mirror car. You can sit this on top of a mirror and it deserves to be on a mirror. Uh, underneath it is all painted and buffed. The body is painted and buffed with uh, PBG. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's a, it's not a lime time green, but it, it's it's really, cro really close. Uh, it's base cleared, sanded uh, with 2,000 and 4,000 and then 6,000 and then hand buffed and then a little bit of Dremel tool buffed. It does have a Hemi motor sitting in it with all the plug wires run. It does have a, a blower sitting on top. It's not made for that motor. It's adapted. But that is a, uh, a blower out of a Bigfoot model. So the blower system is very large. Uh, that is the factory grill shell. But uh, I tried to stick with the custom with the K look of the, of the whole car and made my own grill. which you can see the electric fans and stuff behind it if it wasn't on a GoPro. Trying to look down through the mirror, which is, it's very hard for, with a GoPro. You can see hard lines under the frame and a lot of chrome parts. It actually has a full independent rear suspension uh, the dry shaft's hooked up, the four links hooked up, it, it's very uh, professionally done and radical. Everything's all chromed out. Uh, the chrome materials we have now, uh, it, if I rebuilt this car, it would definitely be a chrome. You know, the, all, all, a lot of this is actually painted silver to replicate chrome. But uh, if it was real, the whole bottom side of this car would be chrome and painted. Uh, on the the back which I have to show you which is because it, it is so cool I hope you can see it in the GoPro underneath the full independent suspension there's actually a pinstripe on the bottom of the gas tank which really set that underneath the undercarriage off the Nova here I can't remember the year but it would be the first one that I ran hard lines on. I ran spark plug wires and brake lines, gas lines, the negative and positive lines on the battery. It was all ran nice and neat down the frame and through the interiors and such. It is a uh, factory built car. It's it's not highly modified. There's no tube chassis under it, nothing like that. But uh, I think the wheels even came with this this car. It, it was supposed to be a either a drag car or a uh, show car, but we highly slammed it down. And so, some of the body lines are curved, kind of a really square, like a Nova is. So there's actually there's quite a bit of body work in it. It was uh, supposed to be more of a gloss black color, but uh, that was definitely back in the rattle can days. Back in the rattle can days. So it's more of a satin black. If I put a clear on top of this, it'd probably really pull it off. But the hood's been lost in the, the years past. It, this car was probably built in, I, I'm, I'm guessing, 7 or 8. 2007, 2008. It was actually built for one of my buddies, DC. And me and him went to a... It, it was a car show, but it was a state fair. And they, they, had, a car, they had a model car show there. He got first... And then the, the truck I built, I got like second or third. The the truck I took was highly modified, crazy. Uh, probably my first one that I built that was just really, really custom and crazy. But because people didn't really realize that trucks sit on the ground and they were bagged and this and that, you know, the judges didn't. The, this car definitely pulled uh, right in front and got the first place instead of my custom truck. Which, I built this car. Hey, when, when, if you build a car and it, it gets a first and it beats your car, <laughs> you built it. So, I mean, it's 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 like you won that trophy too. I, I, I was super happy that he, he got the trophy. That was, That's cool. That was, that was fine. I actually have two new cars sitting over here in the shop area. This is a 38 Custom Ford. It's a panel wagon. 
It's been highly chopped and custom. I believe it's a Lindbergh model kit. So of course it's got the full tube frame, and it's it's supposed to have the 350 Chevy uh, turbo ram injection and all that. Uh, when I do finally get to build it, which it's it's in the lineup, it will have an LS motor and such. Uh, probably a set of uh, uh, custom wheels made for it and all that. There's no way I'm going to run these little bitty 17 billets, uh, which are awesome wheels. But uh, I will have to definitely put a set of custom wheels on like the Blazer and the, the newer model Blazer. But this is definitely an awesome start for a car. Over here, I have my uh, my 37 Ford, which is which has been sitting in the shop for quite a while. It's also a, a Limburg car, same wheels, same frame. Uh, they they're not made to be the same color, or nothing like that. But they are definitely uh, a fiberglass custom car, so they kind of took advantage of that and used the same billet wheels and the same custom frame, and they they even used the same front housing control arms and the same Corvette rear end which is it, it are awesome setup so that, that that those will not change it there will be hard for me not to cut them out of these cars and put them in other cars actually but we have the blazer over here I've been molding and casting uh, I've kind of pushed that project to the side to actually build cars again uh, that is a really hard hobby to do is molding and casting but I'm going to get actually get on this one. It's probably the first or second one that I'm going to get back into building. So, what motor I'm using. I, I know what motor I'm using, but which which mold and cast that I'm going to use, you know. But uh, right behind over here, behind it, is one I've had for a couple of years. I didn't actually do the, the body work on this car, or this truck, should I say. It's the 99 Sh Chevrolet Silverado kit extending cab but it's been cut down into a two-door it's just kind of sitting over here in the shop area <clears throat> I do plan on building it pretty soon I hope ordering a set of wheels for it in the next couple weeks it's um, I started building a hood for an HD hood not too long ago and then that is uh, an SS bumper that the guy I got off of made this is just kind of an update of what I'm doing in the model car shop right now it's definitely the model car shop and it's getting bigger. I'm uh, starting to buy some more projects, doing some more things with model cars. I'm kind of stepping down from the molding and casting. I've talked to a few guys and they said, hats off to you that even try to mold and cast a body. So I've really struggled with it, but I'm not gonna take it to, to heart too, but too much. All that went into fancy little containers. That way it didn't get messed up. All my chemicals still sitting up there in the nice heated office in a seed. Uh, I'm going to get back into model cars building them. I may make small parts like LS motors. Maybe some wheels. Maybe some suspension parts like front cross members, build frames, stuff like that. I would like to buy some more mold. Uh, chemicals and make some molds of those parts. Uh, definitely LS motors. I'm gonna get like the the LQ, LQ9 and the big 62s, uh, which is LQ9. But all all those the big blowers and stuff on them. Uh, the Blazer that I'm building, the 61 Blazer uh, conversion. It needs the the big 62 with the blower on top of it with the big vents and stuff like that. So I, I gotta get one of those. Get one of those going. 37 convertible over here. I already have the LS motor out of the 16 Corvette. It's gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep it in that car. I'm not gonna try to do a blower on it and all that, you know. Uh, this 37 Ford sedan, I would like to do a big, crazy uh, 62 blower system in it. I would even like to do the 62 Delmo Speed Shop style with the carburetor intake on it and the, the billet air, air flanger on it and all that. If you haven't seen any of those, check out that link right there. That's Delmo Speed Shop. They are building some crazy 6.2s and making them look old. So that's a pretty cool deal. I'm going to start a COE truck project. It's the Dodge L700 truck which comes with the flatbed and it also comes with a 40 model Ford Coupe. 
I'm not going to do anything with the coupe. More, more likely, I'm actually probably going to make it look rusty like the in the kit instead of the restored. Just for some uh, looks factor on that, you know, kind of the scenery part. I would like to actually have a shop set up in here that is not my shop background, you know, for, for pictures and videos to display what I'm working on. So maybe that be, will be out back. Uh, which will it'll that actually look pretty cool on that flatbed when I when one of my customs aren't sitting on it. I'm not real sure what body I'm gonna use though. When I ordered this kit and another one that's coming from a company, I thought I was gonna build this. But it's a Dodge truck. I'm not a real big Dodge truck fan. But it's a COE, which is a cab over, of course, which is C O E. Which I'm not big a fan of the Dodge part though. So Jimmy Flintstone, which I'm a big fan of his bodies, makes a several different bodies that I'm going to choose from. Check these out right there. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use though. One's the Ford and one's the GMC. And I, I, I just don't know. I was looking through there because I, I knew as soon as I hit bought, I thought, wow, I think Jimmy Flintstone makes several bodies that I could probably put on there. But, uh, I'll have to see on that project, but I'm not real sure. I've definitely got to get back on that blazer, though. I, I'm, I'm done molding and casting it for a while, but I'm actually going to build it. I'm going to get the 6.2 in it and build the frame for it. I'm not sure I'm not going to use one of these Lindbergh uh, fiberglass body car frames with the big tube chassis and the control arms so like that, you know. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not going to use one of those, so that could be super, super cool. But... I'm also going to do a couple of videos on the foam cannon. That's got nothing to do with model cars, but a lot of people are doing the big foam cannon stuff right now. Uh, spray your truck with a foam cannon, uh, wash it off, and I'm going to do a couple of reviews on that on my own my own truck, my Blue Demon. So stay tuned on that. Uh, bunch of model car stuff's going to start going down. So come back, check us out, like and share. Hey, if you dislike this video, Hit dislike. Just tell me something. Do a comment below. Hey, your audio sucks. Get rid of that stupid GoPro camera. Do something. Let me know you're watching my video. I appreciate it, guys. Remember, subscribe down there. That way, when I post a new video, you know it instantly. Right then. Hey, there's a new Steel's Farm. Click. See you, guys.